Let's start with neck and back and shoulders. How are you feeling? Um, and neck has been absolutely terrible. Back has been better than that. And shoulders are the worst, though. Mm -hmm. Shoulders are the worst. This thing sucks right here. Yeah, like that hurts. Not as bad over here on the left, right? Yeah. I think we do have some levator scapula on the right side. We're going to have to work on this muscle a little oh, bit and yeah. release that. I but feel that. But that's attached to C2. A lot of times when we adjust C2, 3, 4, this muscle will clear up on its own. So good. Not too bad up here? No, definitely better. Well, this feels, you feel that bubble right there? Yeah. There's definitely some swelling in your neck. Anything else to report? Any accidents, injuries, incidents? Hmm. Not really. Okay, very good. Okay, new job, new postures. Those things are all valid. How's your stretching routine? Um, don't have one. <laughs> okay. Well, that's an immediate area of improvement. Yeah. Are you drinking enough water? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Otherwise, life is good. No traumas, no hospitalizations, <laughs> no changes in your medicine. Oh. Do you take any pharmaceuticals? All of the above. There's changes in everything. Okay, give it to me. What do you got? Um... I've been having to take certain types of medications, if not like a lot of pain medications due to recent dental surgeries and procedures. So mm. that's been very inclusive in my daily routine. How many surgeries did you have? Five surgeries and three procedures, like actual major surgeries. You all right? What's happening? Uh, my molars are just failing. Genetics. I have two more surgeries and one more procedure. So on top of that, lots of mental stress, which in tune has turned into physical stress. Okay, headaches? Uh, sometimes. All right. Once a week, once a month, more or less? Probably a couple a week. How do you feel here, right versus left? Is one more tender than the other? Left is more tender. Okay. Left, right, left, right. Do these feel the same? Kind of, yeah. Okay, that's good. That one, This is a fascia test to see how the fascia and the scalp are moving. This is uh, the sphenoid bone, checking the sphenoid bone for tenderness. We'll adjust this along with the rest of the cranium as well. We'll look at your jaw. We'll try to loosen up some of these muscles, do all the cranial adjustments that we need today. Take care of the shoulders and the neck. We'll see what's happening in the rest of your spine too. Well, this will definitely take tension out of the head and of the neck, help you feel a little bit more comfortable. Let's talk about some other different types of anti-inflammatory pain that might be safer than you know chewing ibuprofen or Advil every day. We're gonna do some technique demonstrations. We're gonna use some of this for uh, some upcoming seminars and I really appreciate your participation with that, Lex. I'm happy to be here again. Awesome, great. You look great today. Thanks, so do you. So both feet are slightly pointed to the left, but that's pretty good. All right, now I'll just stop right there. Okay, so starting from the knee down, looking from here, we're looking for straight lines all the way down. There's no genuverum, no genuvalgum, no bowing in or out, no knock knees or bow leggedness. Both feet were pointing towards the left during the march, and I can see that this right knee is slightly angulated and pointed in. That's gonna, that rotational stress is gonna cause stress on the outside of the right femur. Now, all these things are normal. No one's perfectly symmetrical. Mm -hmm. We're just looking at indicators of where the best place is to adjust, where there's the most stress in your spine. We're looking at the distance between the arms here and the body. So there's more space on this left one than there is on the right. That means the body is shifted over in that direction. Then looking at the hip pike, go ahead and put your hands on top of your hips. Okay, so the right hip looked higher when we were just observing. Now drop that. So the right hip is higher, so that should mean that this right hip is twisted posterior and inferior on the right. When the arms drop, there's still more space on the left than there is the right. So we're just looking at a slight little lean in that direction. The shoulder height is like impeccably even. Congratulations on your even shoulders. I never see that. Thanks. Now we're going to check the, the shoulders from the, the shoulder height from the bottom of the scapula. Still very close to even slightly higher on the left. Okay, so we're a little bit higher on the right mastoid process. We look at the level of the ear. Sometimes you can look at the eyebrows too, or the, the slant of the lips, but the ears and the mastoid process is part of the atlas. The mastoid process height tells us which way it's rotated. 
From the side, we're matching up the external auditory meatus with the midline of the humerus. This measures whether or not there's forward head posture and indicates if there's any loss of the cervical lordosis. You can also see if there's any sway back, any accentuated hyper or hypolordosis of the lumbar spine from the side view. Very simply, head over shoulders over hips. Is there a slight increase uh, in the lumbar lordosis for Lexi? Maybe very slightly, but again, normal for her. Checking from the back, we did have a right high hip, so that means it should be the lower glute fold. So we're gonna look at the glute folds and see if there's any rotations in your hip, okay, Lexi? You're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, sliding up to the bottom of the glute fold, they look very even, but it's slightly lower on the right versus the left. Then looking from the top view, we're looking straight down to see if one is more accentuated on one side or the other. That tells us if there's any external or internal rotations looking from the top view. There are none here. This is a symmetrical pelvis. To verify any rotations, internal and external rotation, it says for hypertonicity of the glute fibers, okay? So checking the top of the gluteal folds coming across the top of glute medius minimus out here, then glute maximus more centralized here. Checking for hypertonicity, checking both sides at the same time. They're very even on both sides. This is bilateral, symmetrical, no pelvic distortions here. Very little shoulder distortions. All of this can change potentially when you start walking, which is why we look at the gait next. Not a runway walk now, Lex. I just need a regular walking into the sandwich shop, okay? That's the same walk. Is it? <laughs> when I go to the bodega, I'm like, give me my sandwich, and I'm just like, <laughs> Me and my giant ass. <laughs> okay, you're hilarious. <laughs> the feet are the most important element of the gait analysis. Heel strike, mid stance, and toe off are analyzed for any supination, pronation, inversion, eversion, or external and internal rotations. Lexi's feet are straight away. I don't see any deviations, no supinations. I don't suspect any flattened arches. And there's no bowing of the Achilles tendon, which is the first indication of supination or pronation. Okay, we had a high right hip in the room. It looks like it remains high here in walking. That's good. But now the right shoulder, now the elevation of the shoulder does come out a little bit more. It's accentuated when you're walking. So it's a, it's part of the function. We're looking at functional discrepancies. Now before a static posture doesn't show us the function as much as the structure. Now we're looking more at the function and we can see the right shoulder coming up a little bit higher. And then looking at the ears, we can see the right mastoid process coming up a little bit. So high right shoulder, high right mastoid process. The hip swing looks even from left to right. I don't see any discrepancies from the left to right on the hip swing. Oh, no. Good, and then looking at the Achilles tendon here, this is normal, straight up and down. There might be a slight pronation on this left foot here. There is a slight arch and then when we go and when I touch the arch from underneath There's just a little bit less space in between the foot and the ground Got Okay temperature evaluation is done on the back of the hands because the back of the fingers are more sensitive to temperature Nice and cool and symmetrical bilateral all the way down from the mid thoracic spine here We definitely have more heat once we get up into the interscapular area and then the top of the spine. Actually, it's right here at about T2, T3. Is the most amount of heat coming off of your spine. Symmetrical from left to right, if not slightly more on the right. Muscles, ligaments, tendons, bone, blood, marrow. Everything, the total, the conglomerate, the amalgamation, everything put together, it all releases a bioelectromagnetic signal. By finding where the tone changes or where it's different from one side to the next. So I just keep getting it right here in the middle of the thoracic spine. The dimples here uh, identify the S2 segment, the second sacrum segment is right here. And this is the superior portion of the SI joint. So first we just feel if there's any ten if there's any swelling there, then we can do you have any tenderness here on this side? Yeah, a little bit. How about down here? This lower SI. It's about the same as the first. Okay, what about this left side? Any tenderness there? 
Um, not as much. Okay, any tenors here in the lower SI? Probably the same as the t right side down there. Okay, which one's more, right or left here? Right there, the left. What about here, right or left? Right. The spine tells a slightly different story when you're laying down because all of these muscles are now relaxed. All the spinal column muscles are relaxed. So we can dig a little bit deeper into the deepest layer where we find the rotatores muscle and the multifidus muscle. Multifidi, plural, rotatores, plural. Whatever they're all named, they all hurt. Mm -hmm. You're tender here, huh? Mm-hmm. Like as you go down, it feels like it's more tender on the left. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, and so here's what I get. This guy right here, what I feel is that this muscle is the most intense. Yeah, that does. And so what this is telling me is that the spine is rotated in this direction, and this muscle right here is trying to pull it back in mm -hmm. this direction. So we're going to help it, we're going to correct it and push it in that direction. Yes, the pelvis here, let's start with this one. Go ahead and bend your knees. Both? Yeah, bend them up. Good, we're going to bring that to here. How's your low back? Any pain, discomfort, tension in your low back here? No. And that also would indicate if there's any Logan fibers. Let's palpate the sacral tuberous ligament and see if there's any tenderness there on either side. Okay, right or left here? A little more on the right. Okay, so we're going to find that, that tender segment right there. This is the sacral tuberous ligament. Still tender right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep my thumb right there. Contacting the occiput on the other side. Good. Is this tender up here? Mm -hmm. Now we test the different directions and find the resistance. So we go up, down, left, right. So this tension is in this direction. And then from this one, left, right, up, down. Here's is up. And then we just hold these points of resistance, letting the breath and the respiration do the work. I'd imagine this is what like a string cup telephone feels like. Not connected, but somehow it is. Yeah. First of all, that's brilliant. Yeah. Feel free to quote me on it. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's test that segment again. All right, how's this feel now? Same, better, worse? Definitely better. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing technique. Okay, nice, gentle breathing.
a nice gentle breathing. Shoulders sinking in. <laughs> I think my mouth made more of a noise than my body. Good. Same thing. Shoulders relaxing in there. Oh. Keep going. One more. Good over now. Okay, not bad. So the left SI joint was the one that was tender at the bottom, and this is the short leg. So this is the posterior inferior. And we gotta adjust from the lower SI joint. So I'm gonna lower your band into the lower SI joint. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Good and out. We're gonna bring the shoulders up like this. Good leg. So we bring the hip down. Good following this breath out. Good. Good, then you're back. Then you're back. That noise was the table, not me. I would admit it if it's me. I have no shame. That was not me. Okay, nice and gentle breathing down the length of the femur shaft here. Okay, nice and gentle breathing in through your nose and out. Good shoulders sinking and let the hips relax too. Okay, then you're back. Oh, I felt that one. <laughs> Okay, back to center. Okay, that made it more even. Now turn your head to the left. Not much movement there. Keep going, more to the left. Okay, back to center. Okay, one more time to the right. Center. And left. Center. Okay, so we have a left cervical, left atlas, and you had a high right mastoid process when looking at your static posture. So that means we have a ASLP, left side is going posterior. Let's do this now. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Okay, back to center. Left ear down to your shoulder. Okay, back to center. So a lower, so a left C2 through C6 listing. So somewhat complex here.
Okay, nice. Gentle breathing. Just kind of sink in. Let the head completely. It's tender under here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice and gentle breathing, sinking in. Good, you can close your eyes, nothing to look at out here. <laughs> that just helps you relax a little bit, good. Little push in this direction. Good, good, you're doing good, you're nice and relaxed. Good, good, good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of things happening here too. I feel them. Um, this one just needs a little bit of rotation in it. Okay, so this is a different kind of adjustment. So this one's over rotated in the opposite direction. So I'm just going to very gently, gently lift it up in that direction like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, gentle, gentle, gentle. Let the head sink in. Oh my god. <laughs> That's probably the cutest crack I've ever heard. <laughs> right, I'm going to crack your toes now. Make sure my face looks good. Wow. Relax, let it go. <laughs> Got it. Oh my god, that one felt so weird. Let it go. Okay, this is the organ of digestion manipulation. Oh, here we go. How's it been down here, okay? I feel like it's always a mess. Okay. Sometimes I'll wake up in fetal position, just like, it's terrible. I remember the last time you did this, like, I noticed such a significant difference. Just like, breathing quality. I think on the way here, I was so strained with like, singing the last time I came. And then when I went home, oh my god, it felt like I had new lungs. Yeah, it sucked when you did it, but oh my god, did it help. We'll start with the ileus equal valve. First, one finger on the umbilical here, ASIS here, tracing down the middle. We'll begin looking for this valve. Good. Yours isn't too bad right now. Feels like you're pretty empty, though. When's the last time you ate? A little before 9 a.m. You're starving. <laughs> At this point in the day, I would have already had like three meals. Just deep belly breaths. Good.
Okay, almost there, though. It's right there. Deep breath in. It's almost there. It's just like, not yet. Hold on. It's almost there. <laughs> it's right at the end. <laughs> and out. Good shoulders and hips. Oh. Hips. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Forgot how good that felt. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh. What the? <laughs> oh. Like, it feels great, but I definitely would not go for a jog right now. It, it takes a minute. Just give it a couple minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was amazing. I mean, I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Fingers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what? Right and left, are they the same? You have one more tender than the other still? Mm -mm. They're the same now? They're the same, yeah. Okay. Right and left? Same.
Ja, hoppas. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>